Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, click the like button uh, if you wish and uh, please subscribe. It does help out my channel and uh, I appreciate you very much for doing that. Well, here's another uh, video of mine. Let me move this over just a hair so I can get to the deal here. Um, this is how different would America be today if Trump was still president. This was October 9th of 22. Now I need to slide this over just a little bit more. And I'm not sure I'm going to get the whole article in here. Alright, let me see if I can move my camera over. Stretch this out. I always lose something when I start moving stuff around. <laughs> so I got to be kind of careful here. Make sure that I'm all right. Hopefully I'll still be all right. There we go. This is the easiest column I've ever written. It is so simple to imagine what America would be like today if former President Donald Trump was still president. What a tragedy that we allowed... Oh dear. Yeah, this one is... Uh, what do I want to say? Wordy, I guess. But what a tragedy that we allow a brain-dead, feeble, confused, old man with dementia and diapers and his radical, anti-American, globalist, commune, communist, communist handlers to destroy the greatest country in world history in only 22 months. <clears throat> that was pretty wordy in my book, but... He's a writer. Let's start with the obvious. How did this happen? There's evidence that suggests that 2020 election was stolen. That's how we removed Trump from office and installed a man who doesn't know who he is, where he is, or what he's doing. A man who can't put two sentences together and who can't attract more than 20 people in a concentric, concentric, circles to his speeches, yet they want us to suspend reality and believe he got 81 million votes, the most in history. It's bizarre. <clears throat> well, no words. I have to look, I have to kind of agree, but that's all I'm going to say. Look at what they did to us after rigging and stealing the election. They quickly put a plan in place to disassemble America, which they have done. Overwhelm the economy, make America poor, destroy the middle class, make America unsafe, open the borders, making America for foreign to Americans. Got to agree. Got to agree. And as a bonus, they put in place a disastrous foreign policy of liberals, liberal weakness, wokeness, and appeasement that has set the entire world on fire. Now World War III is upon us. I told you, it's closer than you think. I don't like saying that. Trust me, I really don't. Not just any world war, but a nuclear war that threatens to end the world as we know it. I mean, this is, this is beyond serious. This is beyond critical. I've been warning about this for months. Days ago, President Joe Biden agreed. He announced we are closer to nuclear Armageddon. And I heard that just today again. Yes, I did. In another newscast. 
His words then at any time since the Cuban Missile Crisis. What a fine job you've done, Joe, and in record time. That's what I said in one video last night. Gather your loved ones close. And Putin, I'm telling you what, all he's got to do is push a button. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> now let's look at exactly where we'd be if Trump was still President of the United States. Yes, I am pretty sharp and a successful businessman. And I believe with every bone in my body that Trump is the rightful, 100% legitimate president. This should never have happened. I agree. If Trump was still president, we would have energy independence. We'd be selling our oil and gas to other countries all over the world. Gas would be $3 per gallon and middle class Americans would be enjoying low prices and record prosperity. OPEC would no longer have power over our lives. And we certainly would not be begging our socialist enemy, Venezuela, for an oil deal. Now it says this is to be continued, but <clears throat> I can't find the continued part. No, I can't. I, I tried to find it, and uh, it's copyrighted 2022 Creators of Syndicate and Company. Now, I don't know if that's got anything to do with it or not. I just hope I don't get in trouble with what little bit I've already relayed to you folks. But, um... It's got page two. And let's see what happens. We would have low zero inflation. Groceries would cost dramatically less than they do now. Middle class consumers would be dancing in the aisles. The stock market would be thousands of points higher. Now I've got a commercial right here that popped up. The stock market would be thousands of points higher. Trillions of dollars would have been lost since Biden became president. Trillions of dollar, dollars have been lost since Biden became president. Yes. Yes. All those trillions would be back in the hands of consumers, business owners, and the retirement accounts of Americans. This man is a good writer. Russia would have never invaded Ukraine. So, not only would there be no threat of World War III or nuclear Armageddon, but American taxpayers would have an extra $100, $100, billion still in the bank. That's the money we've given away to President Volodymyr Zelensky and his Ukrainian mafia and Nazi cronies. North Korea wouldn't be shooting rockets over Japan. Iran would be broke, starved off funding by Trump. The Taliban would not have had 80 billion of our military equipment and 13 U.S. soldiers would still be alive, looking forward to Christmas at home with their families. Our cities would not have been destroyed by the worst crime wave in history. Simply because Trump doesn't allow violent criminals to walk free while defunding and demoralizing police. A large percentage of police would not have retired in the past 22 months. We've had plenty of cops to keep us safe. How many Americans out of the ten of thousands murdered since Biden took over would be alive and looking forward to Christmas with their families? Brittany Grinner, the WNBA star, is in a Russian prison cell, would be home with her, with his wife and family. Trump and Putin would have negotiated her release in a matter of days. There would certainly not be 87,000 new IRS agents hired to harass, intimidate, and bankrupt the American people. Although Trump and I disagree on the COVID-19 vaccine, if Trump was still president, 
Millions of Americans would never have been forced to take the experimental, experimental jab or risk losing their job. Trump is strong against mandates. He would never have forced one American to take the vaccine against their will. How many Americans would still be alive or uninjured today if never forced to take the vaccine by Biden's mandate? How many would still have their jobs? I save the most important for last, open borders. With Trump in the White House, we have a secure border. That means five million new migrants, migrants allowed in since Biden became president. Five million. Wow. Well, wouldn't be in our country. How many billions of dollars would be saved? Think of all the criminals who have come through that open border. How many Americans murdered in the past 22 months would still be alive? How many communities and schools would be safer? If Trump were still president, America would be a much nicer, wealthier, healthier, safer place. There's been prosperity instead of inflation. In Inflation. I always get that word wrong, so sorry. We'll still be dominating the world instead of facing World War III. America would be great again. What a difference, night and day, life and death. Now that is by Wayne Allen, A-L-L-Y-N, Root, is known as a conservative warrior. And he's a writer. Wayne's new number one best-selling book is out. I would love to get that book. The Great Patriot Protest and Boycott Book. Wayne is now the host of two new TV shows on Real America's Voice and Mike Lindell TV. He's also the host of the nationally syndicated Wayne Allen Root, Raw and Unfiltered, on USA Radio Network, daily from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Visit Root for america.com for more information. What a writer. <clears throat> Very good. Well, I'm going to look something else up. I'll be back. He gave us a lot to think about, didn't he? And you know, Trump might have did wrong and we know when you do wrong you gotta pay but I still still think that he just will win if he runs which I'm not sure now with everything that's going on in his life right now, if he's going to stay running, I don't know. I, I'm praying. He loves this country. This country is for him and all of us, not just him. Biden thinks his country is just Biden's country. And he is selling us out lickety split and has been ever since he took office. Him and his son did dealings with Russia. Think about all this. You know, we got to stop and think and use our better judgment, but do what we think is right. I'll be back. I got to move my camera over a little bit now, over this way to get to my cam. There we go. And I'll be back. Laters.